Hi, my name is Edder Letzlip Kang, and I'll be going over how eddy current furnaces work for my electromagnetics project. I hope you enjoy. So first, what is an eddy current furnace? In essence, it is a furnace that provides heating capabilities via a type of electrical current. Alternatively, we can refer to this as induction heating. This method of heating is very convenient, as we can heat materials without the need for contact or the use of gases. Here we have a few examples or application of this phenomenon. On the left, we can see a picture of the heating and melting of metals, and on the right, we can see an induction stovetop that is used for cooking. Now that we know what an eddy current furnace is, it does beg the question. Well, what is an eddy current, and how does it all work? To understand what an eddy current is, we must first understand the electromagnetic properties that govern this phenomenon. If you look at the figure on the right, you will be able to follow along visually with the explanation. When there is a changing magnetic field, or a change to the magnetic flux density, an electric field is generated in response. This field is created in space and contours the magnetic field. Should this field encounter some conductor, then a current will be induced. This current will travel in a loop, and this looping current is what is referred to as an eddy current. To obtain this changing flux, an alternating current needs to be driven into a conductor, more specifically, a solenoid, so as to channel the magnetic field properly. An alternating current is important because it is the change in the field that induces the current. In fact, as we will see in the following slide, a constant field will not induce any kind of current. Once done, a conductor placed in the vicinity of the solenoid or magnetic field will experience eddy currents via the induced electric field. The picture on the left, or rather the GIF or video on the left, uh, is an example of this. Putting a conductor inside of the solenoid causes it to experience eddy currents, which generates heat. But again, how does this heat anything? We must remember that the flow of current is a physical occurrence. Electrons are free to move in a conductor. This movement leads to collisions of the electrons with the atoms and impurities that exist within the medium. These collisions then produce heat. Therefore, an induced eddy current is really inducing a large and perpetual number of collisions at the atomic level. Although the previous section was quite qualitative, we do have some very concrete equations to define and quantify this phenomenon. Namely, one of Maxwell's equation, or Faraday's law, and Joule's law. Uh, in essence, the first equation, which we can see on the left, describes that a change in magnetic flux will generate a current that will attempt to oppose the change induced by the magnetic flux. This is Lenz's law, and describes why the currents come about. Furthermore, the equation describes an induced electromotive force, or voltage, as a result of this change in magnetic flux. This voltage difference is what drives a current through the material or medium. Then, as per the second equation, on the right, the flowing current generates power when passing through a medium. Because our conductor is not perfect and the resistivity is greater than zero, power will be dissipated from the conductor, which will result in heat. This is known as the Joule's effect. From the equation, it is then clear to see how an eddy current can form and can be used to heat a variety of objects so long as they are conductive. This concludes my presentation. I have included a list of references that I have used to make this, uh, and that should be it. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.